right, we are back with the mini induction duction heater thing. Uh, well, it's not fixed. It wasn't the capacitor. Hold on, let's zoom in here while we do some sort of diagnosing. So the original uh, surface mount capacitor, this this one here, it blew out. I don't know if it blew off or it fell off or it was smashed off, but it was rattling about inside the case and we took it off. So I've replaced that with an equal value, you know, a, le a legged component, uh, just a normal uh, through hole capacitor. And it's, it's, it sort of works. I mean, it's, it's weird. It runs for a few seconds and it does impart heat into the object. Like if you put something, no, I'll zoom out more. If you put something in the coil, such as said uh, rusty bolt here, and run it, it runs for, well, will, will it do it just now? Let's see. Let's turn on. I've got the power meter up in the wall as well. That, and it shows it pulled 150 watts. So it pulls 150 watts for the time that it runs. Right, so if I take my bolty thing here and press the button, uh, can you see the, let me see if I can get the LED to sit. So the LED lights up. Oh no, it's called, no, okay. And then it just kind of pulses on and off there. Right. So this is warm, it's not red hot roasting, but it's got a little bit of heat in it. And as I say, it pulled 150 watts. And then it goes through that sort of loop of running for a few seconds. But if you leave it and come back to it, you'll get another, whatever that was, 10 seconds of running. And I've looked across all of the board and there's nothing like majorly leaps out at me of anything. You know, there's no melted components, there's no scorch marks or anything. I don't see any loose connections. It all looks okay, like apart from that capacitor that fell off. I have. Let me just unplug this before we get electrocuted live on camera. As funny as that would be. Uh, I checked the check the bridge rectifier. It's not going to dead shorts. Uh, the MOSFETs don't appear to be in dead shorts either. And the that's the little temperature control. It says it well. It says it's 65 degrees, and it's got continuity. So it's not that that's cutting out, and nothing is hot. I mean that. Heat sinks a little bit warm now where I've been running it for on and off during this testing, but there's nothing hot. I say I can't see any. Let me just undo that. It's definitely unplugged. There's nothing blazely obvious either in there because, like, there's only a couple of diodes in there and a couple of capacitors that they look okay. There's nothing. I have no idea what this big yellow thing is. Is this another inductor coil? Is that a transformer? That's definitely a transformer because it's got an iron core, but that's also got an iron core. Could it be any of these? Is it just time to buy another one? Because let's face it, I've tested all them. Well, tested their continuity and they're not getting any dead shorts. But as for everything else, it's you're in a teeny tiny Surface mount components and I've got no way of changing any of them. So do we just call it call it quits at that. Saying that, if anybody wants this, I mean with all its plastic components and I can wrap that up and stick it in a box for you and send it to you if you want to far about with it and see if you can fix it or get any further with it, but I have exhausted my very limited electronic testing capabilities and I'm ready to, well, give up on it and wait and buy another one. So if you want this or have any other related comments, questions, leave them down below and I will try my very best to answer them. And as always, thanks for watching.